good morning. Hi, I'm Angel. Thank you to all of my new viewers. I'm so happy that you are here and you've joined us. Um, and I, this is Healthy and Heart, and I hope you are Healthy and Heart, Mind, Body, and Soul today. So I have a really good recipe for you today. Have you ever gone to a Mexican restaurant and gotten the white sauce to have with the tortilla chips? Now, I have an authentic um, recipe for the white sauce somewhere here I don't know where I'll do that one day but um I was trying to make hummus one day because Todd's not real fond of hummus and I was trying to make one that he would like so I added some heat to it a little less cumin and I came up with something that tastes so similar to the white sauce it will blow your mind um so let's get to making this um and so it's great for dips. I have some tortilla. Oh, <laughs> they got a little crushed. Some tortilla chips. Some uh, tortilla chips right here. Um, those are just corn chips. Hold on. They're just these corn chips. These corn tortillas. It's just these corn tortillas that have been dehydrated. And they dehydrate into a beautiful chip. You don't have to fry them in fat. Because, you know, as you know, that's one thing that we're avoiding. Um, so, bear with me and I will get the camera set up and we will get this made. It's super fast. Super easy and um, absolutely delicious. Excuse my clutter. I'm still working on... on decluttering the whole house <laughs> today I worked on the closet um, okay so the first thing we're going to do I have my high speed blender here we are going to put in two tablespoons of tahini that's about what I have here now tahini does have a little fat um, Oh yeah, that's going to completely empty this jar. Yeah, there's just a few more bubbles in there. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Bam, apple cider vinegar. You're going to add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Hang on. That was a little heaping, but it's okay. You are going to add three tablespoons of maple syrup see I believe that's all the wet ingredients except for one whole can of chickpeas now this is a can of chickpeas that I canned last year you can use the 15 out or slightly over 15 ounce uh, cans from the store put the whole thing in there aquafaba and all now you could use this as a dressing as well it's super good if you like a little spice and a little sweet in your dressing it's really good okay so now we're going to add one tablespoon of red pepper flakes you can add more if you like Todd usually actually Todd usually tops the top of it with some hot sauce that homemade hot sauce um, you know like you can buy hummus in the store that has the red pepper on top and you have the garlic and things like that well he does that with the stuff that we made sorry I had some water ticking in the background that's driving me nuts all right, we're going to use one, 
one teaspoon of cumin. Now it is not a heaping teaspoon because Todd is not that fond of cumin. You can put more if you want, but it's going to change the taste. We're going to use one tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of onion powder. Usually I um, double this recipe. So I'm having to shrink my recipe. <laughs> and we're gonna add half a tablespoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Or approximately of sea salt. Now, if your um, chickpeas are really salty, reduce your salt. Mine are not. I did not put much salt in mine when I cook, when I pressure canned them. So it is not heavily salted. So just keep that in mind. You may have to adjust the salt level to your preference. All right, and now all you do is blend this up. Excuse my lovely dirty, it's used, okay? <laughs> and I haven't cleaned the camera yet, so. blend all of the the red pepper flakes up I, I think that's really lovely you could also add some more maple syrup if you like it a little sweeter this just has a hint of sweetness, at least to me. And I can taste sugar and lemons, so just FYI. Now there will be a uh, printable, printer friendly recipe on my website. It will have um, th the recipe for the double. So if you want to make half of that, you need to have the ingredients, which is what I just did. So <clears throat> this is our lovely finished product. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to dip once. I'm not going to double dip. <laughs> but, um, I mean, that is, look how that holds on to the chip. Much better than the white sauce. The white sauce is usually very runny. This is not. Mm. So good. I hope you give this a try. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you tried it, if you're going to try it, if you want to try it. Um, if you changed the recipe any, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for joining me. Yahweh bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, God bless.